Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here with a bit of a public service announcement for you. Maybe you remember my previous video on whether or not you should update to Breath of the Wild version 1.3.3. In that video I included this uh, screenshot where I was talking about some of the elements that were missing and the reasons why you shouldn't update. And they were FPS++ and things like the Libra VR memory editor and certain graphic packs. Well, they have now been updated, and they were updated surprisingly quickly. FPS++ was not updated by Zalfanos, it was ported by user Epigram. LibreVR updated his memory editor, and Crementive ported the Clarity graphic pack originally by Jamie for improved visuals. So long story short, if you're on CB 1.11.0 with Breath of the Wild version 1.3.3 and DLC 2.1, feel free to just go ahead and update completely and just about everything should work fine. Now, given the current situation, Patreon users have seen me version 1.11.1 and Nintendo have thrown out a little bit of a curveball with an additional update. So now you can also get Zelda Breath of the Wild update version 1.3.4. So what does this mean? Well, we have that cycle repeating, but not quite exactly the same. For example, as I speak right now, FPS++ has not been ported for 1.3.4, but I expect it to be. And unlike before, Clarity does work right now in 1.3.4. So to be clear, resolution packs, including ultra wide, work in 1.3.4 as well as Clarity visuals. What we are going to be waiting on is the FPS++ port or brand new update from any user or Zalfanos himself, which undoubtedly will come because it seems as though some of these fixes are easier than initially thought. If you missed my previous video on why or why not you should update your game version, go check it out because the information is cyclical, it just repeats itself. The main reason is memory edit addresses. They change with each additional update. And of course, these are required for the things we enjoy, like visuals as well as FPS++. As I always state, this information is time relative. It's pertinent now, but in a week, of course, everything will change. As it stands right now, the only limitation for Breath of the Wild players on CMU 1.11.1 with Breath of the Wild version 1.3.4 and DLC 2.1 is the lack of FPS++. Now the public version will be available on Monday the 27th of November, so perhaps by then we will have a working FPS++. Make sure that you regularly check the Graphic Packs website. Now if you are interested in update 1.3.4, it is available in Wii U USB Helper and it's known as version 160. Why don't we take a quick look at the Nintendo patch notes and see what it actually adds. This update was released on November the 21st and the update details are very sparse. It simply says various fixes to improve gameplay. Now one thing I will say is we can't always see a direct correlation between what changes on the console compared to Simu because of course Simu is emulating the system. So physical changes in the world, if there is some kind of a geographical change or an item change, of course that is directly implemented in things like uh, DLC. If there's a specific Wii U fix, it's very unlikely that there'll be a direct impact on Simu performance as well. That's all for now people, just a quick recap for you. If you are on Simu version 1.11.0 and above, with Breath of the Wild version 1.3.3 and DLC 2.1, feel free to go ahead and update to that, because everything that you know and love is working. If you are interested in Breath of the Wild version 1.3.4, know that without FPS++ you're going to have some performance problems, so take that on board. Thank you for taking the time to watch my content on the Complaining Gamer channel. If you enjoy what you see and hear and would like to support the channel further, maybe consider subscribing.